Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel at Sadie's Finances. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying your weekend so far. I feel like the weekend always goes, always goes way too quickly. <laughs> we need to have like a four day working week and we have a three day weekend, that would be amazing. Or maybe one day I'll just go part time. <laughs> so, it's been a while since I've done like an investment sort of update and uh, I don't know how often I'll be doing these. Um, I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea but I quite like watching investment videos and just seeing how people are doing like their portfolios and stuff. So a lot has changed over the last couple of months. I haven't been putting too much into my investments because my savings are taking a priority and this will also, you'll see it from my budget for the next couple of months. So I'll be putting you know between I think 50 to 100 pounds. So not a lot of money, um, still something, but not like how it was before I was putting around I think either 150 and between 200, I can't really remember out of my head. So yeah, so I am changing up a bit because I've got to fund my sinking funds, I've got to fund my savings and some any extra challenges I do. So investments unfortunately is taking a bit of a backseat, but I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to add more through my dividends. And then once I'm happy with how my savings are going, I'll be able to add a bit more into um, my investments essentially. So the first update I'll go through is my free trade account that has now been closed. As of, I think it was this week, I decided to send an email and close it all off. And it's good news for me because I don't have to manage my investments through like various apps. Um, I did, I did uh, to be honest, I didn't really like the app too much, to be honest. Compared to um, Trading212, it was not really there. I think Trading212 is a much better app. The layout, the the user experience and the user friendliness part of the app is much better than Free Trade. Also with Free Trade, um, I, you, you would have to, to be able to get some of the shares, you would have to be in some sort of plan. I didn't like that because with Trading212, I didn't have to do that at all. And I just thought it was kind of a waste of paying extra money for my treat, uh, Free Trade account. Not that I paid for like the extra um monthly thing to get the shares that I wanted essentially so that was one of the reasons why I decided to close it and they kept asking for investments into their free trade um, platform essentially which I didn't really agree with because free trade and trading 212 roughly set it up started at the same time and look how well um, trading 212 is getting essentially and how you know it's performing compared to free trade and I just thought I'm just gonna get rid of my portfolio from there. Just one less app to use, and I prefer the Trading Two One Two One. And I was investing more into that compared to the Free Trade app as well. So yeah, and majority of my portfolios I sold in profit. There was one or two that I did sell at a loss. It was between I think one to five pounds, so it wasn't like a big amount, but it was still a little bit of money that I could put elsewhere. I could have got two, three shares elsewhere. But I just wanted to close it down and I didn't really want to keep it any longer. So I got rid of that. I still have my Trading212 account. I won't ever, I don't see myself ever getting rid of that, ever getting rid of that uh, account or portfolio. Uh, my Vanguard um, account is still there. That is going to be long term. And again, I don't see myself getting rid of it either. Coinbase I have for my cryptocurrency. And you know what, I do kind of regret getting involved into cryptocurrency, even though I only invested around, I think it was about £300. And it was money that I could afford to lose. I kind of regret it now because I was like, I was just thinking about it the other day, I was like, I could have invested it into the mile investments and I would be making a bit of money from that. Not in the world. I still have my portfolio with Coinbase. I'm going to keep it and see what the future holds for cryptocurrency. But I haven't put money into it at all this year. I think I did put a bit of money last year, but I think, um, I can't remember if it was last year, before last year. Whenever, it was the, whenever there was essentially a hype with cryptocurrency, that's the time that I put money into it. I'm really, really thankful that I didn't put more than £300 in because obviously at the moment my portfolio value is around £100. So it's like a £200 down. So it's not ideal. And I'm really thankful that I didn't invest more money. So at one point I was thinking, should I just invest a grand? And I'm really, really thankful I didn't because that would have been a lot of money to lose and, you know, that money could have gone elsewhere. So, yeah. 
So just a bit of changes. Um, in the future, I don't think I'll be having too many like investment apps because I've got two good ones and I'm gonna continue using them. And that's, you know, the um, Trading 212 and my Vanguard. I did have another one, but I closed that again. I just didn't see, I wasn't using it enough and I couldn't be putting like a little bit of money in every little investment platform. It's just not really possible. So I'm just gonna be focusing on my Trading 212 portfolio and my Vanguard because those are the two platforms that I know I'm going to be using for long term. Usually in this video also I would be like um, giving you like a dividend update but I'm going to be doing that a bit separately because sometime towards the end of the month I can get some dividends and I want to be like transparent with the amount of dividends I'm earning on a month to month basis otherwise you don't get the real essentially figures so yeah. Maybe I'll have that as a separate video. Maybe I'll put it on my Instagram. I'm not 100% sure. So I'll try and do updates where I can, essentially. So the first investment I'm going to give you is for my Trading 2 on 2 account. And then the next one will be my uh, Vanguard account. So I hope you, got, you guys stick around and see what I've done with my portfolio. So yeah, let's get into it. So in my trading 212 account, I've invested £6,164.25p. I am making a loss of 20, not 20, £72.49p, which is down by 1.18%. So recently it started to go up again. A couple of weeks ago it was down by £300, so it's good to see it going up again. This doesn't mean that all of my shares are in green. It means that some of them are making more of a profit than the others. So what I'll do is that some of these um, shares I've had for a long time and some of them I recently purchased. So I'll go through that and give you a quick overview. I won't be going into too many details like the amount of shares, the profit, because you'll be able to see that on the screen essentially. So the first share that I've been recently been purchasing is Amazon. This is doing well. I can't remember if I got it as a free share or if it was Apple that I got a free share of. But I see these as long-term like um, growth tech companies. So I'm going to have them in my portfolio for a long time. It's the same with Apple. It's been doing good. And I'm going to continue to sort of invest in these. Personally, I prefer having whole, sh like, whole shares. But, you know, sometimes when you get like a freebie, like um, when someone uses your private link, you normally get like £10 or up to £100 worth of share. But these ones are beginning like £10. So... They're like fractional shares, which, you know, it's not an end of the world. It's fine. <laughs> I just prefer having a whole, like, round number, essentially. So I'll continue to invest both in Amazon and Apple, where I can. Obviously, at the moment, I'm not putting too much money into my investment. So, because of other priorities. BA system is a new one I've purchased, and I'll potentially be purchasing more into the share. There are, like, new shares that I want to personally have in my portfolio and get some of these old ones that aren't doing too well for me. Um, Bank of America is old, so is Barclays. Again, I'm going to keep both of these in my portfolio. Cineworld, I do really want to sell this. I just don't see the need of it in my portfolio. Yes, it's a loss of 40 odd pounds, but it's been like that since 2021, I think, towards the end of 2021. And it's been like over a year. I think I need to create like an Excel sheet of all my investments and the ones I want to sell and the ones aren't doing well for me. And I'm just like, sometimes I have to just make the loss essentially which 40 pound is quite a lot if it was between one to five pound it's still a little bit of money but it's not like like too much money for me whereas 40 pound is um so but i might have to you know next year like january if it still isn't up i might have to be like yeah i'm just selling it selling this and just getting rid of it getting rid of it from my portfolio Coca-Cola is something that, you know, I thought I was going to get rid of, but I haven't. I think once it goes down, I might potentially invest more money into it. EasyJet shares, I will definitely be selling. I don't see them a right fit for my portfolio. Yeah, <laughs> won't say too much about them. Ford Motor, again, it's something I really want to get out of my portfolio. I don't really see, like, car manufacturing like, companies within my portfolio. I don't really see... Yeah, the need for them in my portfolio. Green Coat UK Wind, this was in my fee trade account. So obviously I sold everything in my fee trade account and closed it and I reinvested the money back into my trading 212 account. I see this being a growing company in the next 
five to ten years plus so i'm keeping them gsk i'm keeping them helium i'm also keeping them <laughs> for your mail now this is once it goes in the green i will 100 percent be selling this i am I'm not 100% sure why I thought having voyeur mail would be good in my company. I suppose we use them on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis and, you know, I thought they'd be a good long-term company. But with all the strikes and everything, they haven't done really well. So I think long-term, I will sell them. I share Core FTSE 100 and I share the UK Dividend. This is in my free trade account. And do you know what? I, I did sell on a profit and do you know what? I should have just reinvested the money into something else i don't know why i reinvested it back into the companies in my trading 212 portfolio but i'm gonna get rid of them because i have my like my vanguard account and i'm gonna use that for my like my etfs and stuff like stuff like that and i already have the vanguard FTSE 100 so i just don't see the need of having the iShares one essentially so i'm gonna get rid of the base of these once they're back in profit essentially Sainsbury I'm going to keep I'm going to invest more money into it but it's doing really good at the moment which I'm really happy with Johnson Johnson I'm going to keep I do want to buy more shares into this company but it's around like £132 for a share and that is expensive Heinz I'm going to keep the plan is to buy more shares so we'll see whether that happens Lego in general is something I recently purchased and I'm going to continue investing in them because I see them as a good company after doing quite a bit of research same with Lloyd's Banking Group. I'm going to have a bit more banks within my portfolio as I do see them being good for long term. Microsoft, I recently got as a free share. Um, someone used my referral link and yeah, I got around £10.50 worth of a share from them. So that's decent. I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to keep them as a long term company. I'm still kind of deciding whether I should have it. Let me know in the comment below if you have Microsoft share and whether it's any good to have. Obviously, I have to do my research before I keep or sell a share, essentially. Ocado, I'm going to be investing more into this company, but obviously it's been making a loss. It's pretty much been making a loss since I purchased it, so not under the world. I'm hoping at some point it'll go up, and that hopefully at some point they do a dividend of some sort. That'd be nice. Procter & Gamble, I still have three shares. Again, I want to do, oh, do you want to buy more shares into it? But again, one share is like over £100. And I'm not the big fan of fractional shares, like I said before. I like whole numbers. <laughs> Realty income, I still have 12 shares. And in theory, I should be buying more shares into here. But I'm not 100% sure whether I want to keep Realty income. Um, it's just, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to just take another look at their finances and stuff. Because I've got Stag and Realty income, their monthly... Um, dividend companies and I just don't know whether I need both of them or if I should just get rid of one of them I'm not 100% sure Rolls Royce I'm keeping is doing well at the moment and in the future I do plan to invest more com more money into these companies Tesco I'm keeping Tesla <laughs> I will definitely be getting rid of this year once it goes in the green because don't want to be making a loss of 50 pounds unilever is something i'm going to be investing more money into this i would love to get it up to 100 shares but obviously that is quite a lot of money to essentially get so yeah i think i would need about 74 shares let me do that if i was to buy 74 shares go here that's about three thousand pounds <laughs> so it's a lot of money um yeah that's quite a lot of money and you know i'm hoping that slowly slowly uh, i'll be able to add money into it and looking at my investment portfolio i've got like 29 investments and some of them i do really want to get rid of like high shares the international distribution service which is room i want to get rid of those and there's a few other company ford motor i want to get rid of and a few others essentially so yeah realty income is a potential maybe tesla is 100 percent. i want to get rid of easy jet i want to get rid of ford i also want to get rid of so yeah there's quite a few that i want to get rid of and essentially purchase new things if i go back to home and there's a few shares that i do want to or what do you want to purchase so astrazeneca is one of them pepsico is one of them Via Chinto is potentially maybe and Sage is potentially a maybe as well. 
so yeah I do there are a few shares that I want to get and essentially get rid of um yeah so we'll see what happens but yeah I've, obviously I'm trying to make this portfolio work for me so yeah let's get into Vanguard now so my ISO value is currently at £3,382.13p so I still have my main two um, holdings which is the FTSE 100 and the S&P 500. So for the FTSE 100 I still have around 33 units. I'm pretty sure I did purchase a new share. This is up in profit which is good news because for the last couple of months it has been down. I think it's just to do with inflation and stuff. <laughs> and the S&P 500 I've got 34 units. I would love to get both of them at around 50 units each or 50 shares each essentially but at the moment, I'm not going to be investing into my Vanguard portfolio. I'm just going to be sorting out my trading two-on-two -two portfolio. So this will just take a bit of a back burner because I've stopped my like standing order, essentially all direct debit into my Vanguard account because usually I would invest like £100 into my S&P 500. But I'm currently putting a pause to this in, until I can essentially afford to put more money into my investments. Um, yeah. So S and P five hundred is around up thirty four units. Um, again, I'm making a profit, which is good to see. Overall, it's around one hundred and eighty pounds. So if I was to sell this, which I'm not going to, I'd be able to make that much money um, in profit. So it's still at two. Um, still have my two holdings. I'm hoping in the future um, I can invest into a few other Vanguard um, holdings, but for the time being, these are my two priorities. My two like, focuses essentially in this portfolio once I can get to 50 each then I would look into some other um, holdings essentially so yeah but at the moment this is just taking a back seat whilst I fix fix my trading two on two it's not like a problem account essentially a problem portfolio it's just that there's some things that I want to get rid of some things I want to invest in so this is just taking a bit of a back seat because some of these shares are quite expensive so I kind of want to get the ones that are a bit affordable, like, you know, Tesco, Sainsbury, they are 100 anyway, so I wouldn't personally get by any more into those company until I could get the other ones around 100 um, shares as well, essentially, which would take a while because, as you saw, I want Unilever to be around 100. It would cost me about three odd grand to get it <laughs> at that stage. But slow progress is better than no progress, in all honesty. So, yeah, <laughs> that's my Vanguard portfolio. So that was my update for my trading two on two and Vanguard portfolios. I hope you guys stuck around for that. Um, just a bit of a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I would not recommend that you copy my portfolio because, you know, I've, I'm still learning. I'm still learning what I should be doing with my money, etc. and where I'm investing in it. Sometimes, you know, I sell at a loss. Sometimes I sell out in profit, so you know I'm still a novice, so I would not recommend copying my portfolio or anything like, or anything like that. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to get into investing, you have to do your own research, and you know I would recommend that you speak to a financial advisor because you know everyone's at different stages in their life, and you know you yeah you don't want to be making like losing a lot of money etc. So yeah, <laughs> just thought I put it out there just in case I've got a few new subscribers and you know. If you've watched investing videos, you know, you know, you don't want to take risk with losing your money, etc. Um, so, yeah, I've been investing for a long time, so I kind of know what I like and stuff, but everyone is essentially different. So, yeah, I thought I would just say that just in case, you know, someone decides to copy my portfolio, I would not recommend that because, you know, I've done my research. You would have to go and do your own like, research. Like, there's some mistakes that I've made, like, I personally would invest in Tesla again or like Royal Mail, but you know, you learn and you know, you make those mistake, mistakes and you learn from it essentially. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment below of what you think and if there's any other type of content that I should record for you guys as well. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.